What is going on guys? It's your boy Slick and today we're going to be talking about the CV9105. This is Sweden's premium 9.0 tank and I have played a lot of it, a lot of it over the past two days. I've been streaming War Thunder pretty regularly so when this video is live it won't be live but tomorrow which will be Wednesday at around 11 a.m. EST I'll be live playing some War Thunder. So feel free to check it out. I'm growing a stash still even though I look messy. I mean I was pretty hungover today in the morning, but not not anymore, not anymore. So regardless, right, the CV90, it's a good tank. I'm going to say that first off. It's a good tank, and it has some features that it's the only vehicle at that BR that, ha that has thermal commander scope and normal thermal. So, you know, there is there is a big trade-off for that, though. And that big trade-off is you will get absolutely hole broken by any type of explosive ammunition that hits you. You can be looked at the wrong way and die, which is really, really annoying, especially when you're grinding. The way I've been grinding this is one, damn, look at those pit stains. <laughs> while it's streaming, damn, son. Uh, while you're playing this thing, it's probably going to be the only tank in your lineup aside from like one plane if you have a plane uh while you're grinding the top tier stuff nobody's really going to get this to aid their top tier lineup they're getting it to grind their top tier lineup so when you have one vehicle and that one vehicle plays like a light scout tank um it, it's really tough <laughs> sometimes you just run into things that absolutely murk you so i would say i i have a lot of games where i'll get a kill and die uh, a lot of games where i'll die first or maybe get like two kills um, this was one of the games that was good. I'm not going to lie to you on this. There were plenty of terrible, terrible games I had today in this thing. And it's just really tough to play a tank like that. Like the, it, I got hole broken today by an ATGM from an MBT-70 that hit the back pixel of my track. Like it didn't hit the, the wheel. It didn't hit the hull of the tank. It hit the back track. Now, when I'm using this vehicle, I've hit a lot of tanks with a lot of darts, and it does seemingly nothing sometimes, whereas one ATGM in that kind of spot will kill you. So how to play this tank? I would recommend playing it like a sniper, hiding in the back, and maximizing your amount of time in battle because that's how you get RP these days. Is If you're in a 10-minute, 15-minute battle, you're going to get a lot more RP than if you go in, get one kill, and die. Um, another thing is use the scouting ability. I know I've been memeing and not scouting, but you'll notice this video that I do have scouting balance because I need that extra help. I need the extra help from the scouting bonuses. The gun itself, pretty good. I've been using both uh, darts. One dart has better angled penetration. The other dart has better flat penetration. I can't tell which one's better. I feel like the one that has better flat penetration does more damage but I also feel like the one that has more angled pen, uh, you know, obviously pens on a higher angle, so you can you can pen the side of a T62 like that. Um, as far as tiering with this tank goes, you can't see 10-3, which is pretty nice. <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of battles that you don't get into because of that, um, but if you get into a 10-0 battle, like I said, I mean, it's the same thing. It's a very easy tank to get one shot, so getting into one of those battles is kind of tough and you're also on the opposite side of that right so if you get into like an 8-0 battle some of those vehicles especially the russian ones are shooting aphe which is extremely deadly to you on top of the fact that some of those 14.5 mil uh wielding russian heavy tanks can just straight up pen you <laughs> with their coax uh like the is7 or the new object 279 so you have to watch out for that as well the, like I said, the best way I've noticed to play this tank is definitely sit back, snipe, play your life, take your time, and move out, move throughout the map using that. Use your thermals, and uh, that's about it. I mean, there's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough vehicle to play, I think, but it's also good, and it, it is really good. I don't want that to be taken out of context the reload's a little slow it's not super bad it, it's just a little slow it's not as fast as you'd kind of want it to be with this tank um and then on top of that like the speed and mobility you'll see it obviously it's spaded but i don't have an ace crew or an expert crew it's just a normal level 80 crew um so it you know it moves fast but it's nothing super speedy not too too speedy 
Okay, guys, so I recorded the up till now, uh, or at least the post commentary very early on in the week. This is on like Tuesday. So I wanted to make a video on the CV one night or 105 and talk about its potential in the game. But after I recorded that part of the video, I had some other commentary and I just didn't really like what I was talking about. And so what I decided to do is just wait till the end of the week after trying to grind Sweden all week. And then I could just give you guys my experience on that. This tank hole breaks. It's fucking broken. It's broken. This tank is very, I'm very angry. <laughs> this tank makes me angry. Do you have good games in this? Is it possible? Of course. I mean, it's a tank with a gun and it's got thermals, which are great. And it can scout. It helps your team out. But it hole breaks if anything fucking looks at it wrong. And that, it blows my mind because let's just, let me just paint a situation for you with that you'll see in this tank that will drive you mad. You see a rad camp wagon, a light tank with a 105 millimeter cannon, and you shoot him in the side and he doesn't die. Let's just say you, you overpen and you kill like, you knock out maybe one tire and kill somebody inside or overpen the ammo. And then he shoots you and you implode like a fucking, like a nuke was dropped on you. <laughs> Sometimes there's a clip out there that somebody gave me in chat of this guy bouncing a shell in the CV CV90 and it still killed him. The shell bounced off the tank. The AP, <laughs> the dart came in, it hit the upper front plate and bounced. It didn't hit anything else on the, on the tank, like the upper deck lid. And the tank blew up. And the, the round just went off into the ether. You could see it actually, like, change directions and shit. Um, so that stuff is kind of upsetting. And that will drive you nuts. And there's no lineup. So everything I said in the beginning of this video is true. Like, this tank is decent. And there are a lot of things that are going for it. But in terms of an experience, in terms of grinding Sweden, oh, man, it makes me mad. Now, on top of that, let's talk a little bit about the Swedish tech tree, right? So, if you take a look at the Centurion in the British tech tree, Mark 10, right? So, this, the Cent 10, the one that's at 7.7. 7. If you take a look at the British one, it costs 4000 to repair. If you take a look at the Swedish one, it costs 14000 to repair. And that happens everywhere in the Swedish tree. So, everything is overpriced for no goddamn reason other than you want to, it's going to make you want to play premiums. <laughs> like, that's it. The uh, STRV-122, so the Leopard 2A5, with some add-ons, that's top tier for Sweden. Same thing, uh, su super high price for no reason. And it just kind of <laughs> defeats the purpose of playing these tanks right now. <laughs> I, I don't understand it, I really don't. So that's just my personal opinion on this whole tech tree, how I feel about the things I've been grinding. Now, there are some fun vehicles that I am going to take a look at this weekend. Uh, probably that Zuni rocket tank, uh, or that little cart. I like that thing, <laughs> and I see there's a lot of meme potential there. Um, and, you know, maybe some of the other tanks that are refreshed in the Swedish tree. Other than that, today's Friday. I hope everybody's been safe, doing, doing their social distancing practices. I have bet, kind of. I mean, I'll go out and get coffee. That's about it. Other than that, I make coffee at home some days. And that is it. I've been chilling in the crib. Bored in the house, and I'm in the house bored. I hope you guys are good. I'm going to be streaming when this video goes live. We're going to do our fuff because it is Friday. Uh, so stop on by. Enjoy. Get, get yourself a little drink. Enjoy some corn titties with me. And the only corn titties you're going to see tonight actually are my, my, my corn titties. <laughs> That's what I meant by that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else. Check out my OnlyFans account coming soon. Yo, look at For anybody in the comments, too, by the way, who said, like, buying scouting. There you go. You've been waiting to bust that nut for fucking years, chat. I, or, I mean, I guess you're technically a chat down there, right? All right, I'm done. I'm done rambling. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe when my head's on straight, I'll make a normal video. Until then, you get crazy slick. Also, the stash coming in fire.